is it true that women struggle with accountability? Uh, there's a video that circulated, so I know we talk about it all the time, but I think she made some points because um, it's still happening. It's still happening. So even though we, we talk about it a lot, uh, we try to see we can look at it in different angles because I don't think people realize how important this is and how it hinders a lot of marriages. It was uh, some words that they put in there. Let me go ahead and put that up. Is it true that women struggle with accountability? Here is what evolutionary psychology tells us. Women are more sensitive to negativity and negative emotions. They have higher levels of neuroticism. I hope I said it correctly. Their executive functioning is higher than the man's of the same age. If they have a child be before leaving adolescence, they can become emotionally stunted. Their hormonal changes do play a part in their emotional responses. Do women struggle with apologizing and being held accountable for their bad behavior? So let me go ahead and run this clip, and then we'll go ahead and we'll discuss it. There we go, right there. So I was talking to a male friend of mine the other day, and he told me that women don't apologize and women can't be held accountable. And I began to really think deeply about this idea. And one of the things that came across my mind is in the last nine months or so of me being in my private practice, I have myself experienced many women, whether they came as in as a couple or they came by themselves, they uh, very abruptly discontinued their therapy. And I started to reflect and really think, you know, what was going on here? And I noticed that after I had to confront them about something, I had to bring to their attention something they were doing that wasn't contributing to the health of the relationship, they became very defensive and very, you know, just very harsh and they stopped coming. And even though the husband would continue to come, he made it very clear that, yeah, she won't apologize. She thinks you're wrong. She thinks you're taking my side. And I began to really reflect like, oh my gosh, is it true that women don't apologize? Is it that women struggle with being held accountable? I'd love your thoughts on this. Me personally, I think it has to do with a person's level of emotional maturity. What do you think? All right. So you guys heard, is it true that women struggle with accountability? I know you said you just uh, watched this video before the stream. What are your thoughts about it, sir? Oh, you said, who did you ask? And you clap. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I definitely just watched it uh, before the show. So, um, yeah, um, I, I absolutely agree that, um, that women absolutely do have a hard time accepting accountability, at least from my experience, you know, and, and from the experiences that I've heard other men share. I think that's one of the biggest struggles that men seem to have with women is trying to get women to take accountability for, for their actions. Um, I also think it's kind of interesting because it's like it takes a whole psychologist like or, or a therapist or whatever to evaluate tons of people to come to the same conclusion that men have been saying for years so it it, it kind of goes to show how much what we say is ignored too because because it's like you you would know that if you talk to any man like any man you talk to will tell you that women have an issue with accountability you don't have to do a bunch of you know studies and have clients and 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 you know you know patients or whatever the case is it's like it's apparent so yeah i agree 100 percent. all right go to you trev is it true that women struggle with apologize? I know she mentioned that in there as well. You know, it's it's an um, ongoing joke in the <laughs> in the male spaces period, manosphere, whatever you want to call it, that um, women are allergic to accountability. I'm so pleased to see a woman actually acknowledge it, like Cloud Jones was saying, because most that is actually a woman being accountable for other women. So that's that's a plus right there but if you ask a woman in general about her own actions no and if you ever do involve a third party you're going to see an experience like she was explaining before whether it be counseling uh she'll withdraw 
if it's um, her friends saying or agreeing, that's like the worst thing ever. And they won't be their friends anymore. It's, it's that serious. So it, it, or family members, if they just try to listen to the situation and go objectively, then they automatically take offense to it because they don't ever want to see themselves as being wrong ever. So it, I could honestly say she's <laughs> she nailed it with that one. Women don't want to ever feel accountable for it. But the question is, why is it? Is it because do you legitly always think that you are right? Could, could you honestly always feel like you're right all the time, that you could never be wrong, that you could never say, oh, oh, I'm sorry for that. Or, oh, I should have done better. Or, oh, um, let me let me work on this. There's a lot of women out here. And I can't say all because there are some gems out there that just are considerate. That's my fit. That's my word of the day today. Consider it. But in a lot of cases, they're, they're all married. Women are. What's that? The the women that uh, the considerate ones they they are they're all married. Yeah, well, at least they're considerate going into the marriage. Not all of them. <laughs> at least going <laughs> going into the marriage, but like we were talking about earlier, once they get comfortable, that consideration sometimes is like right down. So, yeah, you can try, you can try, but I don't know. Women, the women just don't. They don't. At least, at least. Starting up, they might be like like we were saying earlier, but yeah, women don't maintain accountability. It's very difficult for them because they can't just view themselves. And I wish somebody would be able to answer the why for me. Why is that? Why can't they actually ever view themselves as being accountable? You got one, Marcus? Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I want yeah, Marcus. I got, for me. I got, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I got a theory on it, right? So I think it's in the way that they process information. This is just a theory, right? I could be 100% wrong, but again, it is a theory. I think when they uh, feel like they're in the wrong, instead of it being the wrong as the instance that can either be corrected or fixed, they feel it's an indictment on who they are as a person. Like it, it, it goes deep to the bone where for them to say they're wrong, it's not just they're wrong in the moment. It's like you saying they're wrong as a person in general. So in, in, instead of them taking that, what they'll do is apologize in a different way, right? So I think they'll try and do an act of service or try and show repetitive behavior versus physically saying or ver verbally saying the word, I am sorry for doing X, Y, Z. It, I really think it's how they process the information. I really do. Because for, for us, it's like, all right, my bad, and move on. But for them, it's like, oh, okay. Like, you know, like, oh, okay. I, I it The words struggle to come out, again, because I think it's an indictment on who they are at the core of that. Like, I struggle with, with my mother in having this conversation because she's the only woman that I really haven't been able to get the exact type of uh, communication that I would like, right? And because I was able to identify some of those things, it helped. Like, even, even though it wasn't the best experience, it helped me further in life because I understood that about, like, women from that experience to, to glean that from it. Like, okay, she's not going to fully outright apologize, but this is her version of what apology looks like. 